Is it illegal to give a Filipino government uh, official money? Yes. A bribe is completely illegal in the Philippines. Will you be prosecuted? Probably in the extreme. Um, I've never heard of anybody myself actually being prosecuted for giving somebody a bribe. I've heard somebody being cautioned for giving somebody a bribe to somebody to do with the transport police because the guy he actually tried to bribe wasn't actually corrupt. <laughs> so he didn't like the fact that he assumed he, did, he was corrupt and would take money for him having a car with no registration plates on it. So not everybody is corrupt. That's, a, that's an important thing. But the other side of this being, if somebody says to you, oh, have you got money for a coffee? I would love a coffee. They haven't actually instigated a trade. They, a trade has to happen for a bribe. You know, if you said, oh, just let my luggage through and I'll stick, te you know, $10 in my passport for you. That's a bribe. But if somebody says, oh, I'm really parched, I want a coffee, um, and you say, oh, I'll buy you a coffee, then we all know it's not for coffee, but at the same time, you just say, well, the guy asked for a coffee, so I said, I'll oh, buy it, I don't mind. And you're not actually asking for any favours at all. So unless you're actually instigating it, I don't think you're going to have that many problems. Now, where things go wrong are sting operations and things, which are completely different. Um, they're actually after big money um, there I won't go on in this video purely because it's completely different and I won't get people paranoid about giving money to police officials and customs officials at the airports or whatever because personally I don't bribe anybody I haven't paid any bribes in the whole time I've been in the Philippines um, the only one occasion where I paid an express fee was with the customs guys and they didn't actually identify that it was a bribe but later on that was the first and last time I ever did it because that was my first trip to the Philippines and the immigration at the time was abysmal so I was expected to sit there for three or four hours where this guy basically said well I'll do it for you boom 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 watch TV for 10 minutes and you come back and all my documents were done um, was it a bribe? No, as far as I'm aware, because they, they, they actually identified it as an express lane. So, I, all I'm doing is actually paying for services they're actually carrying out. I may have just skipped three hours waiting, that's all. So anyway, most of the time, they're not gonna be after anything anyway. Because if somebody's asked you for a bribe, first thing you've got is you already know how much they want. They're not putting a bullet in your bag or something. They're asking for five dollars or whatever. Then they've already set their tariff from what they were expecting. Now, if you pay it, it's up to you. Um, I generally have very little of interest in my luggage for them anyway. Uh, if my electronics are generally second hand and I've never had any problems. But then again, I don't go to Manila where everything seems to be a problem. Uh, Cebu is a lot more laid back, but also I don't think the I don't know it's a different mentality between Manila and Cebu. Never had any issues in Cebu. I don't know anybody who has, so it's very hard to say about Manila. But from everything in the media, it's not looking good. Um, so I'd advise not to pay bribes unless you feel that you're being forced into it, but make sure you're not actually requesting something that could be recorded. So if somebody says, oh, give me $5 and I won't check your bags, you can say, well, I've got nothing in my bags anyway. And more likely they'll just let you through anyway because you've just actually gazumped them by saying, well, have a look if you want. So don't worry about it and the chance of being prosecuted for it is probably very slim but I recommend not giving ideas to customs officials they've got enough problems with the bullet in the bag without giving them something where they could have three witnesses and something else for something that never even happened but they don't need any physical objects because they say well I heard him say he would give him ten dollars for letting his bag through so be aware um, that generally people ain't going to bother you they really don't um, 
it's not worth their while. It's, you know, if somebody's after ten dollars, they're after ten dollars. If somebody's after a thousand dollars, they're going to do something a bit more severe. All right, thanks for watching.